Hello, this is AL Automotive Reviews, and what we have here is the Range Rover Velar SV Autobiography Dynamic. And uh, some fine tuning and additional V8 power makes this 2020 Range Rover Velar go as well as it as it looks and it looks like a beep it is nice now anyone who wants a Jaguar Land Rover long serving supercharged 5.0 liter V8 in a vehicle fresh off the production line should definitely get a 2020 Range Rover Velar SV Autobiography Dynamic Edition is likely to be the last new model ever fitted with the engine uh, Ford, which originally uh, engineered the AG V8 and has been building it for the uh, GLR since 1996, has confirmed that the factory that makes the Blown 8 will be closing in September. Given the 2020 model year only, Velar SV, awesome looks, impressive straight line performance. The GLR is giving it the most powerful engine, the send off that this. Land Rover deserves. Now, this car has a burly V8, the best looking version, a handsome and impressive high speed refinement. It is awesome, and that's why you buy a, a Land a Range Rover, folks. Sorry, not Land Rover, but Range Rover. Now, produced by GLR Special Vehicle Operation, which works across both Jaguar and Land Rover brands, the Velar SV autobiography is closely related to the existing Jaguar F-Pace SVR. It shares the same core mechanical package, yet is intended to be a gentleman type of car or SUV. The idea is to, is to create an understudy of the Range Rover SV autobiography at a more accessible starting price of $91,815 versus the $179,795 for the big Rover SV. Factors in um, the driving assist, a head-up display, and a few small extras. And our test in this test vehicle that's uh, done by Car and Driver, it came it came with $94,655. This car is definitely a fine looker. Beginning life based on the Velar sets the SV autobiography up well. Um, the base vehicle already possesses the sort of visual appeal that steals your attention and it is awesome. It deserves this. It's simply made with a few visual changes over the lesser models, making this unlike the, um, the CrossFit transformation given to the Range Rover Sport SVR. The Volar SV gets a new front bumper with bigger inlets and a neatly integrated lower spoiler. Wow, the rear gains four huge exhaust finishers, as you can see here. Let's see if we can look at that. Those are the exhaust finishers, folks. And boy, does it look nice. It is definitely nice. Now, big aluminum wheels measure 21 inches in diameter. And these are the, um, the, the standard. But you get the optional 22 inch ones. And boy, does this look nice. Now, the Velar cabin, as we will see shortly, this right here is a manhart. Uh, the Velar taking the manhart and manhart putting some juice in it. And of course, you're going to spend some extra money for this baby. But this is the interior. The Velar cabin still feels a measure tighter than the Range Rover, or the Range Rover Sport. But the SV Autobiography has been given generous standard equipment and the trim makeover will be fitting it place at a top a top of the range <coughs> the Velar range is what we're talking about now the shift this car is awesome it has shift paddles behind the steering wheel as well this is the back seat plenty plenty of space and plenty plenty of um, plaited seats just luxury folks it's just plaid, plaited to the T and the leather just fits really really nice as you can see, the interior, even from outside, looks sharp. It looks the seats look very, very tight and very uh, performance oriented and look in luxury. I mean, look at the cut and the fine. Of course, you can tell these seats are ventilated by the um, perforations in them as well. Um, this is the back, you know, the back temperature controls are basically digital, 
and you got your you your fan speeds right here as well plus and minus this is definitely nice definitely nice definitely a setup this is the Range Rover now you see the pedals behind the steering wheel that we were talking about earlier um, it is nice very nice now the shift pedals behind the steering wheel are made from metal instead of plastic and there are uh, now uh, knurled metal finishers for the rotary controls they're not plastic folks the door panels have carbon fiber inserts with woven metal wires to give it extra color and sparkle the only uh, real downside is the unintuitive dual screen and control touch pro dual infotainment system uh, which um, came with the um, which came back in the day with the 2018 uh, Range Rover Velar P250 now this car is less dynamic focused than the um, than its rivals it's not cheap um, 19 syllable name and an unintuitive um, interface I mean but it does look nice now the interior is beautifully finished Limited headroom for the rear seat passengers, as you can see. We'll go back to the rear seat so you can take a look. Now you're saying unlimited headroom. Um, and that would make a difference if you're tall. So, you, you, but you expect more room for effortless luxury. Even an entry level full size Range Rover uh, will make adult occupants in the back feel. Uh, more special. Dimensionally, the Villar uh, sits between a compact Porsche McCann and a mid-sized Cayenne SUVs. Now, the Villar cargo capacity remains competitive at 29 cubic feet, uh, down from 34 cubic in the other Villars. With this overall packaging feeling close to the synthesis, synthesis between the SUV and the station wagons. So, that's just a fancy way of saying the difference, you know, between the SUV and the station wagon. Now, this car has a refined V8, and those are the door panels that are really nice, with the nice inlays. Now, it's difficult to dislike any V8, especially one that's charismatic and effective as this one is. Uh, it's churning out 550 horsepower, and they say it is amazing. And this. This info display, you know, is definitely, I mean, it definitely looks nice, but they're saying it's not intuitive. So I guess the appeal doesn't match the practicality of it. But the refinement is nice. You know, you got the, these are, uh, this is real metal, uh, metal gnarly, um, shift, it, uh, what you use to, um, to go through the gears. I was going to call it shift lever, but I don't know. I call it the dowel, the dowel shifter. Definitely, definitely nice. Uh, the Range Rover. This is again. This, this is the 500 horsepower, 502 uh, foot-pounds of, of torque. The AGV8 might be the most of the way through its third decade of production, but the supercharged form still delivers. It pushes strongly throughout the range, the range rav, and thanks to its all-new active exhaust system, which sounds aggressive when pressed hard. The SVO wisely has in tune the Velar pipes to produce the excessive pops and bangs that the Jaguar SVR models have when lifting off the throttle. Instead, they're just 89 decibels of deep muscular growl when you uh, match the accelerator. Um, take it easy, the noise level drops to relatively calm 68 decibels, that's at 70 miles per hour. Now, performance is particularly strong. Uh, 4,770 4, pounds uh, vehicle which shoots to 60 miles per hour in an impressive 3.8 seconds uh, besting the SVO uh, by half a second and it covers a quarter mile in 12.2 seconds 115 miles per hour despite carrying an additional 115 pounds the Velar SV uh, beats the Jag F pace um, by 0.3 seconds up to 60 and 0.2 seconds ahead of the end of the quarter um, this is awesome, awesome, it's more impressive is how the uh, Supercharger V8 
is effortless uh, muscularity uh, comes without a hint of lag it's that Rolls Royce feel you know when you're being wafted along the AGV8 however is thirsty um, if it's regularly um, pushed to the limit um, with the right foot especially when um, saddled with substantial mass you know as this SUV is now this is getting about 15 miles per gallon and a uh, 75 mile per hour uh, highway hike it actually returned 20 miles per gallon on the highway um, despite it's rather uh, racy on road uh, the, vet, the um, Velar SV impresses as an off-road the standard ear springs can increase the Velar ride height by up to 1.7 inches in its uh, rock scrambling drive mode even when wearing a uh, diamond finished uh, 21 inch wheels can scramble up and down slippery tracks and on those Pirelli uh, Scorpion uh, Zero all season tires, um, be, albeit 21 inches at all four corners. Um, this is actually used on the road. This is a high performance SUV, and you can take it, you know, in some places like in the wilderness and actually really, really, really use this. What a what an awesome SUV, folks. On the pavement, the SV is softer, it's more laid back, and it's luxurious. And it's up there with the uh, F Pace SVR, but it's uh, comfortable, is, is, it, it beats it. The suspension sometimes struggle to maintain discipline when dealing with rougher road services. Although um, switching to dynamic mode made it feel sharper, and it should, that's what it's the for. Uh, but there's less connection to the road. You know, you're not uh, going to get the same feeling that you would get in the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio, which is a totally different vehicle. This is not as luxurious as this range, as this um, as this Rover, definitely. Um, but it does make a difference. Overall, this is an awesome, awesome SUV. And let's keep taking, let's keep looking at this baby. I mean, look at the seats. The again, we looked at that, the different angles. That's how it looks when it's making its way through traffic. Range Rover is a status symbol. You get this when you arrive, and you get it. And um, the Velar it has, you know, it does a good job. We're showing that you arrived. That's the 20-inch wheels and the infotainment system. This is looking at it from the top um, with that uh, beige colored leather interior. This is a particularly nice SUV, folks. And in every way, you know, the cup holders, everything is just second to none. Luxurious in every way. Um, uh, this is uh, AO Automotive Reviews, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, remember to share, like, and subscribe. And also remember, um, uh, thumbs up, appreciate you guys, and keep checking out these videos, and have an awesome day, and stay healthy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.